I urge him, in his first appearance in his new position, to come out of this fantasy world that, your predecessors have been, that his predecessors have been living in, together with Lord Frost. Join us in the real world, together with, business, with Britain's business community, the world of delays and shortages, red tape and bureaucracy, lost business and lost trade, a world which demands sensible answers and practical action from the Cabinet Office, not just another minister addicted to dogma and wishful thinking. She should, should she not, Madam Deputy Speaker, welcome the opportunities that Brexit has afforded this country. Yeah. Uh, the party opposite's relentless negativity, may I say poisonous negativity, about the opportunities of Brexit yeah. really is a sight to behold. And what about the wonderful positions of this country now that we are free from the shackles of the regulation and bureaucracy and the burdensome arrangements that were applied uh, carte blanche to uh, all member states of the European Union. I would urge her to look at the positives um, and to look at the fact, for example, that this country now is the number one country in the G7 for economic growth on the GDP front, that we have a million job opportunities for our constituents and the people of this country. Those are positives. Those are things that have been delivered post-Brexit, and work is in progress. Negotiations, discussions, and the matters that she raises, she knows well, are matters which are at the forefront of the priorities of this government and that are being worked on keenly. She spoke of uh, Lord Frost and his comments about ambition, and of course, Lord Frost and I share, as does all the government, the ambition of this country, and if only... Uh, the party opposite shared that ambition, then I think that she would find greater support. 